Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us today. My name is Joni Ogg, and on behalf of the Travel Professional Community and Travel Professional News, I want to welcome all of you to today's webinar. And I really thank you for taking the time out of your day to come and be with us today. We're super happy to have you here. It's going to be an amazing presentation. I'm so excited for it myself. Today's webinar topic is 10 entrepreneurial resources you're missing out on. So we're going to be wanting to take a lot of notes. And I think um, Jen Lee, who is going to be presenting, may be sharing some of the information with us um, after the event. Our host today is Travel Planners International. And we are joined by, as I said, the amazing Jen Lee. She is celebrating just four short years in the travel industry. And she is the Vice President of Sales and Marketing. And let me just say, she's not shy about her obsession for guiding and leading today's entrepreneurial-minded travel advisors. And according to Jen, the travel industry is on the upswing. And this is the moment to remind the world that travel advisors aren't just book and travel, but they are true creators, I can't even talk today, curators, sorry about that, of the future. She believes that those that find success are the ones going beyond boosting their bank account they're building a business. And what keeps her going is meeting with passionate, hustling, and driven entrepreneurs in making in the making who just plain get what it takes. And her bulletproof coffee, she says. She is, without a doubt, an amazing and dynamite presenter. You guys are in for a treat. If any of you have been on before and heard Jen present, you'll, you'll know what you're in store for. She's also going to be generously offering two 30-minute consultations with her, and those are invaluable, I'm going to tell you. So at the end of the presentation, we will be asking two questions, so be listening carefully, and the person who answers the question correctly for each one of these will win the consultations. So if you can just remember that you're going to be muted today, um, but we do welcome your questions. You can just type those right in the uh, right-hand side of your panel of your screen, and we will go ahead and get to those questions when Jen's presentation is over. So let's turn the microphone over to my friend, Jen, so she can get started. Welcome, Jen. Hey, Joni. Hey, everybody. How are y'all doing? Um, I've got to update that, uh, that bio to be more relevant to what's happening happening today. I'm still obsessed with everybody, um, but like I'm even more obsessed to make sure that we keep moving fiercely forward, that we make it through this um, craziness together, that we work together, that we support one another, um, and that we keep seeing things from a positive perspective, um, even when um, everything seems to be going against us, right, Joni? It just so seems true. like the hits keep on, the hits keep on coming. Yeah, but, I do um, have some of them. <laughs> I'm telling you. Um, and I always invite Joni, please, you know, interact. And you guys, I'm going to be asking y'all questions as well. Um, this particular uh, presentation, I actually took about seven weeks to put together. I fully vetted what I wanted to talk about. And I'll tell you, um, I'm kind of like Abraham Lincoln. I don't know if you've ever heard this uh, story before, but Abraham Lincoln, when he was getting ready for a, a big speech, Anytime he had a thought, he would write it down on a little piece of paper and, and rumor has it that he would stuff that paper in that big tall um, hat of his. And uh, when he went to go do his speech, he would pull out all those little nuggets and things along the way um, that he thought of and then he put those all together. Well, if you can see from this picture, my hair is 17 inches longer than it is in this picture now. And I've had these little nuggets in my hair and in my head really for the last month and a half because I wanted to make sure that what I shared with y'all, you would get something of super value out of it. Now, a couple of things to think of. All of y'all, most of you who know me, know that I started in business only about four and a half, it's been about four and a half years now. I had my own small business consulting firm before I joined the travel industry. And so I worked with travel, uh, I worked for with entrepreneurs from all over the country, all walks of life, all different types of products and services. And um, so many of the things I'm gonna share with you today are uh, resources that I used back then to help my clients and that my clients used. Um, so I'm excited about that. Um, and so it's gonna be a big resource guide for you. So I wanna make sure you guys uh, have lots of uh, lead in your pencils and multiple pens because you are gonna be taking a ton of notes, but I will send this PowerPoint to everybody who registered for the webinar. It has all the websites, everything that you need. 
Um, but you know, if you can follow along, that would be um, good as well. Because there's so many different resources, I felt like I had to have some sort of like disclosure. Um, you know, in today's litigious society, um, I feel like I have to cover myself here. So the resources and websites included in this presentation are based on either my personal experience or research done by Jen Lee. It's not representative of anything that um, TPI has uh, utilized. Actually, the majority of these things are not things that TPI utilizes. We get no affiliation. There's no agreements. I make no money on this. This is just the resources I'm obsessed with. Um, so I just wanted to make sure I put that in there. I and thank I don't know you why for, but just thank you for making these available to everybody, Jen. This is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, and I want to hear from you guys. You'll see in some of these, uh, the 10 entrepreneurial resources, I'm going to ask you for yours as well, because I like this to be an open conversation as much as possible. So I found this on Adobe stock and I said perfection, because when I think about entrepreneurs and small business owners who are successful, and actually anybody in life who are successful, this is actually what comes to mind, this picture. Right, so there's, you know, you could be just a fish just uh, swimming along like everybody else, or you could be like a superstar fish where you get out of the lane where everyone else, because you're thinking creatively, you're curious. Um, most successful business owners kind of think this way. They don't think the same as everyone else. They're, they're not copiers. I mean, they, they, they're inspired by others, but they are not followers. They're more of the people that say, hey, I see how they're doing it. I think I can do it better, or I have a different twist to the same thing. Um, curiosity, adventure, wonder, wandering, uniqueness, and thoughtfulness are words that always come to mind when I think about entrepreneurs and small business owners, which all of you are. Even if you are an employee working for somebody, I want you to be thinking of a small business mindset. And I'll tell you, and Joni, you've been in the business a long time, those advisors and agency owners that look at themselves as business owners, not travel agents or travel advisors or agency owners, when they look at themselves as business owners, they look at things very differently. And so that is really kind of the moral of the story of today's presentation. Every resource out there that's gonna help you be a little more curious, gain a little more information. So recently, and this is, um, it's interesting, have you ever like gone down some sort of rabbit hole, like you're Googling something and something else comes up because you misspelled it? Have you ever done that? Or you're Googling something and all of a sudden a TED talk comes up or a movie and then you read a post and then there was a quote and then you want to know who that quote is? Have you ever done that, Joni? I have done that and I've, it's been a problem for me because it's usually shopping. <laughs> I end up right. getting, I going down the rabbit hole of, of shopping, which is not necessarily a good thing at this particular time, but oh well. <laughs> I know. My husband just told me what our credit card bill was. I'm like, what did we buy? And he said, apparently a lot. So um, so my, my granddaughter has autism. And so um, I was Googling um, schools or private tutors for um, children who are nonverbal autistic. And somehow or another, I ran across this beautiful woman. Her name is Temple Grandin. And um, I ran across her TED Talk. And we'll talk about it a little bit later on. But her TED Talk, which this is a picture of, is titled, we, we Need All Types of Minds. And so I watched her TED Talk and then I went off and watched the movie that Claire Danes um, was featured in that was about her. And it's probably the most, without a doubt, incredible movie I've ever, 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 ever seen. Write it down, just write down her name, Temple Grandin. And in it, she talks about how we have to give kids, especially kids with autism, show them something interesting light the spark to get their brains turned on. And I thought, wow, this is perfect because that's exactly what I want to do today is I wanna show you something interesting that lights the spark in you to get your brain turned on and maybe in this case, turned away from some of the negativity and the challenges that we're facing in the industry and get you kind of refocused or more focused on something that you've got um, control over. But get your brains turned on all entrepreneurs have really creative, curious brains by nature. And most of the people that I have found in this industry have that as well. Otherwise, you wouldn't love travel so much. So you have the ability, you have that type of mind. So keep that in mind. That's my goal. Show you something interesting, light your spark, and get the brains turned on. So in our 10, essential, 10 entrepreneurial resources that I'm going to show you, my goal is these will spark creativity. Some of them will help you run a smarter business, and some will help you stretch your current connections. 
So we're going to spark creativity, we're going to have a smarter business, and we're going to stretch our current um, connections. So are you guys ready? Because it's more than 10. I'm just going to tell you right now, it's just 10 topics, and there's a bunch of stuff in them. We're on so it. So number one, yeah. So number one is small business resources. Here are some of my favorite small business resources that I don't think many of you guys are taking advantage of. The first one is SCORE. And SCORE is basically, it's a nonprofit. It's a, it's actually a for-profit, but it's, um, it's paid for by um, government funding and other types of funding. So everything they do is free. Right now, I would be tapping into my SCORE um, location. And it doesn't matter where you are because they have SCORE offices all over the country. And right now, most everything's virtual anyway. So in SCORE, they host free live webinars every week on small business tips and strategies. Um, they've got recorded webinars, a big library that you could go back to. You can find yourself a mentor, which actually I just realized I didn't do a screenshot of that, but you can find a mentor. And the mentors are people who are mostly retired business people, right? They're leaders, they're CEOs of organizations, they're probably people who own travel agencies in the past. So you can find yourself a mentor and have an appointment with them one-on-one -on -one and say, here's what's happening in my business, what ideas do you have? Get out of what everybody else is doing around you because all we're doing is feeding one another. I want you guys to expand and look at different industries. Um, there's courses on demand, uh, things that you can learn at your very own pace. Again, local workshops and events, the majority of them are being um, virtual now or they are being post postponed. But check out score.org and their website's super easy to use. You just, I think you put in your zip code or you look for a location, click on it and everything you need is right there. So that's my number one resource for small businesses. My second resource who I'm obsessed with is HubSpot. Um, now HubSpot is actually a very high-end CRM. And actually they've got small, they've got uh, CRMs priced, you know, a couple thousand dollars a year. So you could definitely take advantage of it. But what I like about HubSpot most, and we use it at TPI for our agent relations. So anyone who's ever talked to our girl, Tammy Roan, uh, you're in our HubSpot CRM. But what I like is they have so many great resources. And again, from so many different types of industries, everything I'm gonna show you is outside of the travel industry. Um, so as you can see, and Jenny, can you see my cursor when I, I move sure it? sure can, yep. Perfect. Okay, good. They've got a blog about marketing, sales, um, customer stories. To me, there's nothing more inspiring than reading somebody else's story and how they overcame something. Um, how they turned a negative into a positive, how they um, you know, pivoted their organization to take advantage of something. We were, I was reading something in one of our trade magazines about um, a coach, a motor coach company out of, uh, here, out of Florida here that immediately realized they're not gonna be able to use their motor, co motor coaches uh, much any longer. And um, so he laid off all of his employees and then he was cleaning out the warehouse and he realized I have all this cleaning, these sprayers that we used to use to clean the motor coaches. And so you know what he did? He refocused his business and now he runs a business to help clean other people's businesses and their restaurants and their offices and stuff with the same cleaning supplies that he used for his motor coaches. Those are the types of stories that you'll get a snippet out of it. And you'll go, oh, wait, I could do the same thing or I could do something similar. Um, Ebooks, guides, free courses, certifications. Again, HubSpot is all about uh, customer relationship management, all about email marketing. So you're going to see a lot of stuff there as well. But they have a great blog. As a matter of fact, one of the I took a, a snapshot of just some of their most recent blogs. Out of the six that you see here, five reasons for customer churn, 15 examples of retention, 10 customer retention metrics and how to measure, how to prevent buyer's remorse, what is customer churn, obviously it goes back to this one, and 10 business email phrases to stop and start with. Um, the one that kind of stuck out to me, I'm always interested in you know, what is it that I've been doing that I should stop doing and what am I not doing that I should start doing? So I was really turned on by this one. So I read it really quickly. Most of the time, these are six, seven minute reads and I wanted to share with you. Here are email phrases to avoid. Cool. So this is kind of like a value add, right? So yeah. avoid these email phrases, you guys. And ask yourself how many times, like to be honest with you, I actually hate that when people say that to me. In, in, in real life, like, what, were you not been honest with me the whole time? 
let's touch base, or I wanted to follow up with you, wanted to check in on you. I can't stand that. I'm, you're not my mother. Don't check in on me. Let's not touch base about anything or pick your brain. So sorry to bother you. Avoid these. But what I loved about HubSpot's um, blog is it told us, add these. Instead, say thanks for. Please feel welcomed. I hope all is well. I appreciate your help. I look forward to hearing from you. Just reading this one blog and you went back and looked at your email, you could see four or five different changes that you might be able to make in your emails and your everyday emails to you know, benefit. So again, this is outside of the industry. This is something uh, that HubSpot provides. And so that's just an example of one of their blogs. Vistaprint, um, are you familiar with Vistaprint, Joni? Mm, yes, absolutely. Love me some Vistaprint. And uh, they used to have a whole thing for small business owners, but I, I guess they, I looked around, I couldn't find it. But if you go to vistaprint.com, you scroll down to the resource center, and you click on the resource center, it's gonna take you to another place and you wanna click on ideas and advice. And as you can see, business tips, marketing and advertising, I clicked on business tips. Here's just some of the, the featured uh, business tips, five ways to keep your business trustworthy and incredible, how to win or lose a customer trust, introduction to business financing, I know a lot of travel advisors need to take that, uh, coming up with a business name, five great ways to improve your customer service. So that was Man. just starting a business, right? I so didn't even know about thing, that. I only knew they made business yeah. cards. Correct. This is why you have Jen Lee doing a webinar because yeah. I dig a little further. So yeah, they've got all kinds of cool stuff. And again, they also share things about branding, design tips, marketing, advertising. I just clicked on business tips and look what I found right there. And there's 14 articles just around starting a business. So that's resource number one. So resource number one to kind of recap are um, small business resources. Resource, our entrepreneurial resource number two are online finance resources. So there are two that I found that I really like, um, sba.gov, and I highlighted this section because if you haven't done this portion, launching your business, then you need to start here. <laughs> you should have a business entity, a business structure, apply for licenses, permits, get a business account, like make sure you've got this under control. But I was really turned on by some of the, um, the blogs and the articles that they had here, managing your business, uh, paying taxes, staying legally compliant. Now listen, I am all about some ASTA and I think everyone should join ASTA because they give us some great legal advice. Uh, they've done an awesome job. Peter Labasso always provides us that, and Mark Pestronk with Travel Weekly provides us stuff that's very specific to the travel industry. But what about just in business, staying legal and compliant? And so I really like that. So sba.gov, and just click on Business Guide and click on Manage Your Business. Next one for finances, which is what we're talking about, um, online finance resources, is quickbooks.intuit.com slash blog. Now QuickBooks is an accounting software that you can purchase. I used to use it when I owned my own consulting practice and at TPI we're actually uh, moving over to QuickBooks. It's very powerful but it's also small enough for a, a solopreneur or a small business owner like you guys. Um, but what I liked here on their blog, they've got thought leadership. There was some good stuff in here but they've got accountant advice. And so if there are things that if you're being your own accountant right now or your own bookkeeper, Here's some uh, good advice that they provide you. It also allows you to kind of see what can you write off, what can't you write off, um, how, to you, how do you categorize certain charges and expenditures, um, how do you pay yourself. There's all kinds of um, advice that you can learn in here. And QuickBooks, to me, are the leader for small business owners. So it's quickbooks.intuit.com slash blog. Am I talking too fast, Joni? No, so and that's much. really interesting. I didn't realize they offered that, but I can say that, you know, I know a lot of agents have told me they've had to kind of cut back on certain services, accounting mm. being one of them, you know, so they're doing their own and instead of having a, a you know, their accountant work for them on, on processes right now. And that's wonderful yep. that you can get some advice um, and, and information, you know, a resource there that's really helpful. Absolutely. And the SBA.gov will help you there too. QBO, and that's a good point, QBO is QuickBooks Online. That's the one you want to purchase, the license you want to purchase when you do have a bookkeeper who wants to do your books uh, remotely. Like if you decide, and I'm going to show you some other resources about hiring um, third-party people, but QBO is really good. It's very powerful versus it living on your, on your computer. 
it lives up in the cloud, you know, where everything lives, up in the cloud. <laughs> Which scares so me. So that's quick. I know, right? <laughs> I got you, girl. Okay, so then next is our entrepreneurial resource number three. These are my favorite social media resources. Are you ready? This is a company I have followed, this gentleman, Michael Stelzner. I have followed him for about 16 years, almost since the day he launched. And he's probably, God, I'm getting old. I just realized how long I've been following this guy. So it's called Social Media Examiner. And they, to me, are the go-to place for everything new, everything you need to know about social media, what's happening. Facebook and Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok, all of them release their updates to Social Media Examiner and a handful of other people first. New technologies, new apps, they go to Social Media Examiner first. So you're ahead of the game. You can check it out quickly. They'll tell you the pros and the cons. So if you go to socialmediaexaminer.com, here you'll see their little toolbar here. I've just highlighted a few of the drop downs. Um, they have weekly news, viewpoints, which are their opinions on things, expert interviews, tools, research, Instagram, organic marketing, how to run Instagram ads, Facebook ads, LinkedIn ads, TikTok, which everyone I think should get away from TikTok at this point. I think social media marketing podcasts, which I do listen to, and I'm gonna talk a little bit more about social media marketing talk show, and of course their YouTube channel. It, um, this feature of the website right here, where it says search this website, I use it as like a big Google search. I'll just type in, you know, run a Facebook ad and all the blog posts and all the articles will show up. They always do beautiful screenshots, walk you through it step by step. It's just so powerful. So, so Jen, social media, I gotta interrupt you. Yeah? Somebody just yeah. wrote in, Cynthia just says, I love him, exclamation point times five. Um, I, listen yeah. to, I listen to him every day. So there you go. Oh my goodness. Well, you know more than I do, Cynthia. Yeah, he's great. I love him. I love and I love his podcast because the first few minutes it's always introducing some sort of cool app or technology or, you know, 90% of it I'll never use, but it's just cool to see that forward thinking out there. So yeah, I'm so glad you listened to him, Cynthia. I I, I dig him. I think he's awesome. This um, next one, and, and by all means, um, ask questions. I have a lot to share, so I'm talking kind of fast this time. Am I okay, Joni? No, you're good, and I'm watching for things. I, I, okay. I'll, I'll hit, you, hit you up at the end if it's something we don't need to address right then. Okay. So this one is Sue B. Zimmerman, and I actually have a personal connection with her. That's my disclosure. Um, back in the day when I had uh, my own coaching business, she was my client, and she is a rock star. She is now turned into a team of 12 people back in the day. Um, she's very smart and she was trying to figure out what she wanted to focus on. And she decided she understood Instagram before anybody else under, understood Instagram. And I'm so proud of her. It's Sue B. Zimmerman. She has a lot of free resources, as you can see here, free training, her blog, courses and tools and resources. But what I like most about Sue is her YouTube channel. So this is the name of her YouTube channel, Sue B. Zimmerman. And you can see she's super cute. And um, all of her videos are three, four, five minutes in length. They're very powerful. They give you very specific tips. It's, she gives you a strong call to action and what to do next. I highly recommend uh, that you follow Sue B. Zimmerman on YouTube. And then if you're on Instagram, I think she, her um, handle is the Instagram expert. I'm, I can't remember actually the top of my head, but I love her. And um, I'm just super proud of her. I just have to say I'm super proud of her. So um, I was I was excited to do this so that I could highlight her. All right. So those are really my two go-to social media sources. If anybody who's listening has a go-to social media resource, um, I'd love to hear about it. So if you type that in into the chat, and Joni, if you'll let me know I will. Um, if anyone's giving you something new. Um, okay, freelance resources. I had to use the kitty cat. Look. Is that yours? <laughs> No, oh. gosh, I can't take that good of a picture. My kitty cat wouldn't sit still for that. Um, but I just thought that was hilarious. You know, we all have freelancers in our house now, our puppy dogs, our kittens, our birds, our kids. Um, but when you need to hire a real freelancer, there are two uh, websites that um, I know, like, and trust. Uh, Fiverr, which has been around for a very long time, uh, and it's spelled F-I-V-V-E-R.com. And all you have to do is just type in here what you're looking for. 
uh, looking for, and, and sometimes it's only $5 to hire these people, right? Sometimes I it's, I need all the time. I use it. Do all, you? Oh yeah. Tom and oh. I use it all the time. Yep. There. What are some, what are some, and I just realized I put the wrong uh, website. It's two R's in there. Yeah. What, uh, what are some of the things you've used it for? We Jenny? use it. Um, well, we use it every year for um, putting together our host agency um, video, which of course you are yep. a star of. And, yep. uh, and so we sit, we have a guy, I've worked with the same guy on Fiverr for the last in five years. And I reach out yeah. to him once a year, you know, and his prices have gone yeah. up, but rightfully so he does a great job, you know? So yeah. it's an amazing resource, an amazing resource. Yeah. And right now it might seem like you don't have any extra money, but it could be that you need to offload something specific um, or you know you need to redesign your business card. You know you need to redesign your logo. Maybe you've decided, you know, uh, one of our top advisors at TPI, he, he sells cruises like almost exclusively and he sells carnival cruises almost exclusively. And he's like, Jen, we have to diversify. And so now he's getting into all inclusive. So, you know, he's going to have to update his website and update a lot of his branding. And I, I've turned him on to Fiverr to uh, help hire somebody to do that for him. There's a uh, question. That's not his jam. Yeah, there's yeah. a question on the Fiverr. So I just want to kind of help you with the answering on this one. You can take your mm -hmm. piece of it too. Um, someone's asking sure. about the costs on Fiverr. And when it started out, $5 was what it was. You know, that was the first bid, mm -hmm. but that was many years ago now. Um, so it's difficult, I would say, to find something for $5 that's really all that fantastic anymore, you know, just because yep. you know, life goes on, things change. Um, mm -hmm. But it is, you know, there. You, when you get into Fiverr and you start looking for what you're looking for, and you read the reviews that people have posted, because I've done that for our guy, and mm -hmm. that's really valuable. You know, so really research um, when you find you're in Fiverr and you're trying to you know pick a person that you want to work with really research and their comments about them and everything and what their star rating is and such because that really helps you know um, that you're getting somebody that's really qualified at doing it not just brand new to, to doing it that's just a recommendation so the costs vary depending on how long the video let's say you're gonna have a make a video how long that is um, how many uh, photos are in it you know there's just a lot of different variables Yep. And that's so interesting because I took a snapshot of the recently viewed just to give you guys an idea. And sure enough, here's someone who starts at five. I will do bookkeeping in zero QuickBooks online in Excel. You know, she's got five star ratings or he, I'm not sure, five star ratings, seven people. So, you know, you definitely have an opportunity to look, this person's got 91 five star ratings. He's creating an Amazon product unboxing video, right? So they're very, very specific and there's thousands of them in here. Um, but again, you've got that capability here and it, it'll tell you how, where it starts. But I love Fiverr. If you've got those one-offs, might as well. Another one that's probably a little more, I don't want to say the word upscale, but maybe for a little longer term um, agreement, maybe it's something that you need uh, a little more often. Maybe it's a virtual assistant, someone who's going to, um, make all the phone calls for you to your clients about something, whatever that is. Another good one is Upwork.com. And um, this one's a little harder to, you have to actually create an account to really get in there and kind of dig in. So if you're not seeing what you're looking for for Fiverr, um, go to Upwork. You just have to create an account to really see more than, you know, just kind of the front couple of pages. But I thought it was worth sharing. Andy uses that one all the time. Now he doesn't, he's yeah. not as fond of Fiverr and mm -hmm. he uses Upwork all the time. Yeah, well, there you go. Look at this. I yep. love it. Okay, good. Um, then my fifth uh, entrepreneurial resource are centered around messaging essentials. Now, anyone who's listened to my webinars have heard me uh, bring up these uh, essentials, and I'm going to bring them up again because, again, I should make money off of selling these books, but I don't. I think these are awesome. Messaging essentials. In today's world, you guys, you're going to have to focus a lot on your messaging. And now more than ever, your messaging is going to be, has to be tweaked to what's happening in today's world and what your customer is thinking about and your future customer. I am a huge lover of this man, Don Miller. Um, he has a book called Building a Story Brand, How to Clarify Your Message So Customers Will Listen. During this webinar, I'm gonna share with you his um, little story brand seven, his brand uh, story kind of formula. And, and this is where I think you'll understand why it's really important to dive into his book or watch some of his videos. I bought the book, it's an easy read. Uh, we use it at TPI all the time. We never, ever, ever write an article. I never really start a presentation. We don't do any ads, nothing until we take it through this. 
and and the 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 premise of this is is he was a screenwriter and he said this is exactly how all movies all plays all stories if it's a good story goes through this process and you need to do the same thing for your brand messaging so we all have there's always a character introduced and in this case the character is your customer right so maybe it's your customer maybe it's um Andy is the customer and he has a problem and he has a problem. His problem is he wants to go on vacation, but he's really unsure about where to go, uh, where he and his family will enjoy it while he feels confident in the safety measures um, that have been there and that he wants to get a good deal. So here's Andy, the character who has a problem, who meets a guide. Well, you guys, y'all are the guide. And the only way he's gonna meet you is by you understanding their fear and understanding their need or their problem, what they're trying to accomplish. And the only way they'll actually connect with you is through your messaging. And so when your messaging is right, you have this character who's kind of cruising it, whoops, this character who's kind of cruising along, who's got a problem, reads your stuff and says, this guy gets me. Oh my goodness, I met a guide who understands my fear. The guide then gives them a plan. And that's where you have to make it easy, one, two, three. You wanna plan your next vacation, fill out this form, we'll set a 20 minute consultation, and um, in less than two days, I'll have a full plan for you. I just made it up as I went along, but it, we give them a plan and we call them to action. Because people who have a problem, who have someone standing next to them, who has shown them the way, is relying. They're relying on you to call them to action. Because if you call them to action, there will be some sort of result. It will either be, he's got comedy in this example, but it'll be like Xanadu, like, yay, everything is fantastic, or I avoid tragedy, right? So we're motivated by good and staying away from bad. So this part right here, I could do a whole webinar about calling okay, people to action. Okay, okay. Okay, you want me to do it? A <laughs> yeah. whole webinar on that. How to call people to action, because remember this character has a problem and, and ran across you you gave them a plan and this is what happens. We give them a plan and then we go, we go away. We don't call them to action. And so then they never get the result they're looking for. They end up staying way over here in their problem. So that's just a very high level explanation, but it's there is a character who has a problem, who meets a guide, who gives them a plan, who calls them to action, that gives them the result they're looking for. Either it improves their life or it avoids tragedy. Simple as that, guys. And if you can brand, if you can change your messaging utilizing this um, story brand guide, and there's a lot of other really cool things in there, you will connect with more people. You will connect with more people. Any comments on that? I, I've, I've I talked about this. No comments on it. I think they're all just uh, taking fastidious notes. <laughs> <laughs> Good. And actually, guys, I will make sure you get this PowerPoint. My next two resources for messaging essentials um, is one of my favorite books, Words That Sell. And there's another one called More Words That Sell. He found out more. So this time around, I said, instead of just, instead of just telling you to go buy it, I, I took a snapshot of one of the pages. And so what Words That Sell does, it, it asks you, what type of feeling are you trying to convey? It's not a thesaurus. It's what's the feeling? So I thought for y'all, Travel advisors, one of your feelings that you're trying to convey in your messaging is that you are complete and that you will you will provide thorough knowledge, thorough support. So you open it up to complete and thorough, and then he gives you all these kind of words or baby phrases for you to use in your messaging. So I will provide you with a comprehensive plan. Um, in, I have in-depth knowledge of Cancun. We will review the, the regulations extensively. You have unlimited support when you come to me. Do you see all these words? Versus I'll give you a plan. Um, I've been doing this for a long time. These are the power words that marketers use. So it's kind of like you have the um, cheat sheet for New York ad agencies. And what you're gonna crack up over, and Joni, I promise you, everyone does. Once they get this book or they, 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 see, they start reading it, they, they start seeing these words over and over again in the brands that they buy. They, sure. they, all of a sudden, sure. it's like, you're right. A complete package does make sense. Totally packed, jam-packed, a bottomless res reservoir, endless source. It just makes you sound smarter. Oh, totally. 
emotionally. I get really passionate about this. I love this okay. book. I've had this book I, forever and I swear by this book. And when I used to do a lot of presentations, I, I mean, mm -hmm. as I know you did too, that mm -hmm. is, this was my go-to. I, it's, it's torn and ripped up from all the use it's had. It's amazing. Yeah. Everybody needs yeah. to buy this book. So worth it's it. $11.95. I do not have an affiliate link. I really Maybe could. Either. And right actually now. you guys should get an affiliate link because you should tell everybody, you know about it. It's I don't so have time for that. So it's good. so good. Well, they came out with another one called Phrases That Sell, and it's a little more um, detailed. Uh, it's the phrase finder to help you promote your product, services, and ideas. And um, this just kind of gave you more, a little more lengthy, more sentences. They have transition phrases. They have opening phrases. They have call to action phrases. They have a ton of different phrases in here. So this one, I looked up superior solutions, right? like everything you need to get the job done, everything you'll ever need, a promise fulfilled, a safe, lasting solution. It's the only way to go. Just write solutions, I love that. Look no further, like these are just little phrases. And again, your messaging is very essential right now, guys. We have to get away from your, your standard messaging, copy and paste, like, I don't want to see unprecedented times anymore, right? Like, aren't you sick of that word? Oh, we're in unprecedented times. Yeah, we know. We don't need to hear that again. Give me a better word. Show me you get me now, right? So this will help you with this. Okay. So those are your messaging essentials. Okay. We're at number six. The most, one of the most underutilized resources out there are the use of hashtags. Now, many of y'all use hashtags but you use them only as like emphasis. <laughs> it's almost like I used to say, hashtags are kind of like that additional exclamation mark. Um, but really hashtags, uh, you can use in two different ways um, as an entrepreneur. One, you can use hashtags to find people, ideas, and groups. So as an example, if I'm looking to connect with people, and I think most people would know what a hashtag is, it's kind of like if you were in a big arena, and you wanted to find people who were all talking about the same thing you wanted to talk about, and they were hold, everyone was holding up a sign, you would look for that sign that said, I wanna talk to other Orlando business owners. I wanna talk to other travel advisors. So I'm gonna show you some of the hashtags I follow currently. And I do this because I wanna see what these other people are talking about. I wanna connect with new groups, I want to see their ideas. I want to meet new people. So this is for me to find, and I'll show you where you can use hashtags. So if I was looking for other Orlando business owners, if I were a travel advisor, I'd be wanting to connect with other Orlando business owners who um, I could possibly collaborate with on doing a virtual cruise night together, right? So I would probably go into Facebook or even into Instagram and just type in hashtag Orlando business owners, and you will find others who are smart that use hashtag Orlando business owners as a hashtag. Small business tips, hashtag entrepreneur, work from home, hashtag boss, hashtag CEO tips and marketing strategies. These will take you down little rabbit holes, um, especially boss and CEO tips, but it'll take you, so it'll be somebody is, they'll use multiple hashtags in their posts. Like it might be Ed Bastian from Delta, and he's, he's done a quote or something and he's got a hashtag, hashtag CEO tips, hashtag Delta, hashtag small businesses rock, whatever. Well, I found them because of CEO tips. And because of that, that might lead me to something else. So those are some of the more popular hashtags that I use. What are some of the ones that you guys use? And um, has anyone given us any kind of feedback from the previous like social media resources or anything else? Are they really all just continuing to I think they're all follow? taking notes. There was there was a question um, way back in the beginning, but it, I didn't want to interrupt you because you were in the middle of asking yeah. about, do, yeah. you have to, do you have to buy the CRM to access the resource? I think this is when you were talking about, would that have been a hot no. spot? Nope, you do not. Okay, you do thank not. You. Okay, they have perfect. a blog. They have a blog, and you can. I don't even know my login for HubSpot, so I know you. Uh, okay, I know. I know you can do it. Um, okay. Someone else but, mentioned right. um, real quickly. I run through a couple of these, so we don't make sure we don't run out of time at the end. Um, Jen sure. Hermans is also good for um, Instagram. She someone shared her oh. name is, and it's spelled J E N N. 
Oh, no, maybe. Yeah, I'm sure that doesn't. She wasn't talking to you. Or, <laughs> I'm not sure now that you mention it. I'm not so, that good on Instagram. No, J-E-N-N. And then the last name is Hermans, like H, it's H-E-R-M-A-N-S. And she says it's really good also. So just sharing that okay. tip. Good, good. Yeah, you guys, the, I'm not the only one that has good resources. This is just to get your brain going too. So good. I wrote down Jen Herman. I'll check her out. And someone just okay. said, okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to go backwards. Come on. You're asking me for questions. Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. ma'am. Yes, so ma this is a, yeah. this is a hashtag one. Hold on. She said, uh, she does, um, hashtag Maryland, Maryland travel agency. Okay. Perfect. And then yep. let's see, someone's asking you a question. How do you follow these hashtags? So that's leads you into the next thing. Yep. I'm actually going to show you in just a moment. So Perfect. this is, um, it just depends on which ones, uh, which uh, social media platform you're on, but I'll show you. It's not hard at all. They make it very easy. So these are the ones I use to find people, but you also need to use hashtags in your posts to be found by others, right? So let's look at how these are a little bit differently. So you're going to use these in your post, hashtag Orlando travel agent, because somebody else who's looking for an Orlando travel agent will use that hashtag. Oh, I want to find a hashtag Orlando travel agent. It's like Google in hashtags, hashtag cruise expert, hashtag Orlando travel agency, hashtag vacation expert, river cruise, all inclusive Mexico, hashtag any supplier, hashtag any destination. So anytime you post something, let's just say you went to dreams in Cancun and um, you're posting pictures, you want to use the hashtag, hashtag Orlando, if you live in Orlando, of course, hashtag Orlando travel agent, hashtag all inclusive Mexico, hashtag dreams Cancun, hashtag something else. And then anyone who's searching for that hashtag, because maybe they're looking for pictures or they want to connect with someone, because you've used that hashtag, they're going to find you. So you see the difference? There's hashtags you use for you to find them, and there's hashtags you want to make sure you use in your post so that they can find you. Perfect. Does that make sense? Yep, totally. Okay. Okay. I'm going to show you where to do these hashtags in just a second. Number seven, online groups. The best way to find online groups um, is to use hashtags. So as an example, I went to Facebook. And I went to the search results. And by the way, Facebook has changed their look. Have you noticed that? Totally. Yep. Yeah. I get I'm, lost. I'm, I'm, I'm getting lost again. You can go down to groups right here um, and you'll see all your groups. But if you're searching for groups, so let's just say you want to find other small business owners in Florida or other small business owners in Orlando. If you type that in, you can put the word hashtag if you'd like. You can do hashtag here and it'll show you that hashtag and everyone who's used it and you can click follow or you can I mean this portion is in groups you could just type that in and look what happened I just put in small business owners Florida and look at the groups that came up now that was just my one screenshot there's a ton of groups and then this way I can take a look at this and go who Central Florida local business this group purpose is to help promote local businesses in Central Florida they do 600 posts a day 22,000 members that might be too busy for me maybe I'm whoop, maybe I want to go to something else Central Florida vendors, small business owners, South Florida, small business owners, Central Florida. This is more of my jam. Introduce yourself in the first post. Now I'm part of a group and I can go into that group. And we did a whole thing on creating Facebook communities that convert. Um, we did a webinar on that. If you guys look at I was at just going to mention that. News. Thank you. I was yeah. going to mention that. We, you guys, when you go into travelprofessionalnews.com into our webinars, you'll find a webinar in there about Facebook groups that Jen did um, maybe a couple months ago, I'm thinking. It yeah. was mm -hmm. awesome. It was so good. And it really went into the detail about how to work the group. So I highly recommend you all um, go in and log in and look, take a look at that. Okay. All right. Sounds good. So that's um, there. So you search there. Now in LinkedIn, which I'm starting to get excited about LinkedIn, and if I were a travel advisor, I'd be all in LinkedIn. I'd be more on LinkedIn than I am on Facebook. And here's the reason why. People are tired of the negativity that's happening on Facebook. And professionals, those who have jobs that they value, where they want to connect with other professionals, are hanging out on LinkedIn. That's where they are. They're not really hanging out on Facebook. So I Feel like I'm going to have to do a whole other thing on LinkedIn. I've got a lot of webinars I have to do for you, Joni. I think so. so. Um, I think so. Link, LinkedIn, um, nobody's talking trash on LinkedIn. 
everybody there is providing insight, resource, inspiration, mostly insight, uh, a lot of, lot of articles on there, a lot of really good videos on there. So I would be looking for some LinkedIn groups. So you go to this little search, you just click in the search feature, you click on groups, you, search, you actually type in what you want in there and you click on groups and it'll show you. So I, I typed in small business. Here is where you can also type in the hashtag. So if you typed in hashtag small business Orlando, it'll show you all the people who have used that hashtag and it has a big button that says follow. Just click the follow and now that hashtag and all the posts with the hashtag will start showing up in your feed. Make sense? Totally. So here I put in small business. Here you're starting to see all the different types of groups. And you know, just read this, click on it. Sometimes I join a group and then I realize they're not people that are really serious about giving. They're really trying to get. And you know, in today's world, it's it, you give before you get. Um, and so, you know, just be careful with that. You want to, you want to find the right group for you, but finding groups online, I think is really important right now outside of the travel industry. Now there's a group I'm going to invite you guys to our fiercely forward formula Facebook page at the end. And that's a good group. It's not about TPI. We don't talk about suppliers. Nobody vents. Nobody does anything. This is all inspiration, smart stuff on there. Good webinars, sharing of, uh, really cool ideas. That's one in the industry. And I'm sure all of you listening belong to a ton of travel agency and travel agent groups right now. Get out of that and start talking about small business, entrepreneurship, businesses, uh, marketing strategies, social media strategies, um, you know, solopreneurship, those types of things. And find new people to uh, be inspired by. All right. Number eight, entrepreneurial publications. There are a ton of them. I like these two that I'm getting ready to share with you, but there are so many out there. First one is entrepreneur.com. And again, these are ones that are outside of the industry. These are not ones that are in our industry. What I like about entrepreneur.com is not only it is a magazine, but they offer so many other resources. I'm obsessed with entrepreneur.com. I took a screenshot of just a tiny bit of their drop down menu. So if you go to entrepreneur.com, you're going to see this whole toolbar, and then you're going to see all these things on here. And you can see they've got women entrepreneur, green entrepreneur. You can ask an expert. There's all kinds of start a business articles, podcasts, videos, you name it, they've got it. It's really most of these things only take you a few minutes to read or a few minutes to watch. Great snippets, um, multiple, um, multiple industries. The other one that I like also is Fast Company. I've been following them since their very first uh, publication that came out. Um, it's not as thick as Entrepreneur, but they've got some really good stuff here. Tech, work life, creativity, impact. They've got videos. I mean, look at all this stuff. And again, this was just one portion of their drop-down menu. Podcasts. I'm going to start one. I promise. It's going <laughs> to happen. I'm waiting. Stay tuned. It's it's called Beyond Booking Travel. We just have got to get around to it. Beyond Booking Travel podcast. Podcasts, these are the ones that I like, and there are a ton more, but I wanted to tell you a little bit about each of these. Um, the Harvard Business Review Idea Cast, it's a weekly podcast uh, featuring leading thinkers in business and management, and these are all people who write for the Harvard Business Review, um, but it's not over your head. They're only about 20, 25 minutes in length. They're not long. Um, the last few were negotiations, how to change your negotiations in a remote world, um, future proofing your business through scenario planning, which is thinking of those worst case scenarios and best case scenarios and providing your future proofing of your business, um, staying agile beyond a crisis. Those were some of the most recent ones and it comes out every single week. The next one is Melinda Emerson, and it was great to run across her again back in my small business coaching days. I heard her speak at a Spark and Hustle conference, and she is a firecracker. You think I'm a spark plug? No, ma'am. This woman is more of a spark plug than I've ever been. Um, she really is known as America's number one small business expert. Um, she probably reaches about 3 million entrepreneurs each week online through either her podcast or her blogs or her social media. Um, she rocks the casbah. Um, she uh, interviews a lot of solopreneurs and small business owners. Um, the last few were like uh, how to do a brand refresh 
how anybody can put together affiliate marketing, things on taxes, um, how to build relationships on LinkedIn. Another good one, which I've only listened to two of her podcasts for a very good friend of mine um, is friends with her. And I really liked what I saw. It's called make over your marketing. Um, every week, um, Erica Holmes delivers little mini workshops and step-by-step -step guides and before and after case studies, which I totally love that she kind of like gives them a makeover. So you get to watch this makeover via podcast. Uh, some she just did were email rules to live by. Um, make over a client experience, make over your about page. I mean, who that's very specific, like your about us page. She did makeovers on it. And then also how to ask for testimonials, how to really build a brag book that uh, you can be proud of. And then entrepreneurs on fire. This dude literally has been around for a long time. Um, his name is, I think he cusses and swears a lot. So there's a disclaimer there, John Lee Dumas. Um, he gets he has over 2,500 episodes and 85 million downloads to date on his podcast alone. Wow. Jeez. Yeah. So yeah, he was uh, voted one of the best of Apple podcasts um, a couple years back. Inbound lead generation, storytelling, small biz survival guides, and then social media marketing. There's their podcast that I was telling you guys about. So I love their stuff. Okay. Hold on. Got a so couple things. Got to share. Yeah. Got to share. Go. Okay. Go. Somebody said yeah. travel. Yeah. Someone, Ingrid said travel marketing media for email marketing and social media strategies is really good. So she's just sharing that. It's called travel marketing Perfect. media. And then I love this is, this is, could be my favorite of the day. I'm going to read this to you. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is freaking awesome in caps with five <laughs> exclamation points. Thank you both so much. I am brand new to the industry and I am learning so much. My hand is cramping from taking notes. Ah, well, good news. This <laughs> webinar is recorded and you can go back and listen to it. I and just had to share to that industry. was so awesome. It is freaking awesome. And welcome to the industry. Uh, you're joining at actually a really good time. No pressure. <laughs> you get a chance to learn. Um, everybody is learning and pivoting and, and altering and refocusing. It's a great industry. You'll never get out of it. It'll get in your blood and we won't let you go. So welcome to the industry and I'm glad you're liking it. Thanks for sharing that, Jenny. We're almost done, guys. We're getting there, we're getting there. All right, so then the 10th resource are talks to inspire. And actually I see talks in a variety of different places on YouTube and I see them um, in other places, but my number one go-to is TED Talks, uh, TED.com. Um, which um, are anywhere from three to 20 minute talks, no more than 20 minute talks. Um, what I like about TED is you tell them what interests you, and this is actually a two-step process. Uh, so I told them I'm interested in business, the future, communication, uh, community, innovation, child development because of my granddaughter. You know, you just kind of click the things that you're really interested on, and then it takes you to another page where it, it narrows it down, and then it just starts populating your feed with things they think you'd be interested in. The way I use TED is I don't question TED. TED's my boss. If TED tells me I'm supposed to listen to it, I watch it. And even if the title is about protons and electrons, I'm like, I'm not a scientist. Ted knows what I'm interested in, so I trust Ted. So trust Ted, fill it out, and once a week, twice a week, three times a week, how often you feel like you've got time, listen to a TED Talk. Two of my most favorite to date are Brene Brown, The Power of Vulnerability. I think she's at 27 million views of this thing. It's like absurd or 47 or something. And my other brand new one, which I'm going to listen to again in the next day or so, is Temple Grandin, The World Needs All Kinds of Minds. It's inspiring, it's smart, it's motivating, it'll teach you some things. Um, I absolutely love TED Talks. But TED's your boss, let TED do the thinking and you do the listening. So we've gone through 10 entrepreneurial resources that you probably did not know about. Uh, that you're missing out on. We went over small business resources, online finance resources, social media resources, freelance resources, messaging essentials, hashtags, online groups, entrepreneurial publications, podcasts, and talks to inspire. I have one last one that I'd love for all of you to take advantage of. It is, um, it's free. It's, there's no obligation, there's nothing to this. It was a gift that we put together for the industry when this COVID mess started uh, coming out. It's a 31 page resource guide 
um, that it has webinars attached to it. It's got um, graphics, social media graphics, videos, email um, verbiage, uh, examples of things, how to pitch your local media. It's got a ton of resources in here. Um, if you just go to travelplannersinternational.com slash fiercely dash forward dash formula, um, you'll see a page there. You just click on get powerful resources today and um, that'll take you to the resource guide and then you can be part of our Fiercely Forward Formula Facebook page. I love an alliteration, so <laughs> we had to come up with Fiercely Forward Formula Facebook page. No griping, no complaining, motivation, um, uh, lots of contributors, myself included, um, really there for the person that doesn't wanna talk about booking travel, but wants to talk about how they're building their business, how they're continuing to move Fiercely Forward. So, Jen, can I join? Yeah, of course, Joni. Absolutely. Okay, I'm going to go check right it out. I'm going to check it out I'll, today. I will, approve, I will approve you immediately. Awesome. All right. Um, so, so, those are all my resources. Uh, as always, I cheers to you for what you're doing every day uh, to keep the industry alive. And I'm open to any questions. Uh, okay. Any comments. Folks, Anything. remember. And I know we've got the questions yeah yeah we did some so we kind of been doing it all along so we may have answered the majority of them but first of all mm -hmm. everybody that's commented has just love this thing so this has been awesome i mean you've given yes. us so much information somebody yeah. said um it's on my desktop and i'm i'm assuming that must mean the fiercely forward is on the desktop i'm not sure brenda brendiana what you meant but she said something's mm -hmm. on her on her desktop which is always a good thing that means it's always okay. there um yeah. somebody else says thank you this was so valuable thank you for this insight so helpful um yeah. free up is another resource for freelancers she's someone to share oh. so free okay, up f-r-e-e -E, and then up okay thank you all right, i'll add that to my i'll add that to my list okay, okay great keep going. um this has been amazing. Uh, thank you so much. Another fantastic webinar. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Replay, question mark. <laughs> I'm going through them. Hold on. Thank you, thank you. Oh my God, this is great. Um, don't you feel appreciated right Miss? now, Miss Lee? I Thank I you. Do. you I do. Absolutely amazing. This was a great webinar. Oh, you guys, thank you so much. I know um, being a presenter and, and hearing that kind of feedback after you've been talking to people for an hour, it, there is mm -hmm. nothing more valuable than, even though we're doing them on webinars and I know we're at face to face, um, nothing more valuable mm -hmm. than audience feedback. So um, I thank you for recognizing what Jen has been doing here. She is so inspiring and um, it's, it's just been awesome. So I think we actually have a a couple prizes, which is your consultation, which I think is fantastic. Yes. So I hope you all were listening carefully. I think you all were. Um, and there's <laughs> going to be two questions. And I'm going to go ahead and um, Jen, do you want to give the question and then I'll follow and sure. pick the fifth one. The fifth person that gives the correct answer on my little screen here on the right is going to win the first consultation. So go ahead, Jen. All right. Question number one. Who said we need all types of minds? Do, 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 do. Oh, my goodness. Do, do, do. They're coming in. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> And by the way, everybody, I, I forgot to mention this earlier. You know, our wonderful friend, Sandy Elson, who moderates with us as well. Uh, Sandy is on here helping me count because I stink when it comes to getting the right answers. So I will. Um, <laughs> she is kind of. Hi, everybody. Sandy, Sandy I think I'm going to let you say who it is because you're so much better at, at these. Okay. Counting things see, than we're, I taking, am. we're taking the fifth one. And that is. Our winner is Holly Monahan. Oh, congratulations, Holly Monahan! You have won a thirty-minute consultation with the wonderful Jen Lee. And the and, answer uh, was Temple Grandin, by the way. Temple everybody. Grandin, right? And okay. uh, Jen will get in touch with you to to uh, tell you how to uh, redeem your wonderful prize. Yeah. Do you want yep. to take advantage right. of that? Okay. Number two. Yeah. Jen, go. Number two, what's the name of the resource guide TPI launched to um, serve everyone that you can download? What's the name of the resource guide, the 31 page resource guide? And I should make you have to spell it properly too. By the way, Holly <laughs> says, thank you. She's all excited. Oh, yay. I'll email you, Holly. Okay, Sandy, it's gonna be interesting if we came up with the same one here with our counting. I feel like I'm uh, you know, the Oscars here or well, something, you know. Let's see. <laughs> okay. okay. I have a winner. 
Okay. Fifth one, the answer was fiercely forward formula. You needed all three words. There and the winner go. is Arlita Cosby. Arlita Cosby. Congratulations. And you two will be contacted by Jen Lee to, to uh, set up your 30 minute consultation. Congratulations. So congratulations to Arlita oh, and to uh, Holly, was it? Yep. Yeah. Sure. Holly. Yeah, that's yeah, Holly. fantastic. Congratulations, Arlita. So, everybody, this was. Fantastic. And I think everybody's just, every time you do one of these, I get like in such a good mood. I thank you. I mean, I can start out the day one way, but when you, when you get me all, you get me all worked up girl. And I hope you got everybody else all worked up and, and everybody's ready to go out to sell some travel and get these people on the roads out and the airplanes out yeah. here and on ships yeah. eventually. Okay. Yes, so, uh, yes. I thank all of you for being here. It was fantastic. Jen, I can't ever thank you enough and it's not possible to give enough thanks to you. Um, Sandy, thank you for being here with me and helping out with the recording of this. Everybody, I'm in a hotel, so I was afraid I might also lose my connection. So Sandy was gracious and is helping to record this to make sure we don't have not have a recording um no, anyway here with both of you yeah it's fun 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 to be with you ladies it's just been fantastic jen thank you thank you to all of you that are um on the webinar today be watching for an email that jen is going to send you as she mentioned she was going to send you the powerpoint um presentation about this or the notes so you can make sure you have that and those of you who have been taking a million notes are gonna appreciate seeing, making sure you get it yeah. all. That's awesome. <laughs> um, hey everybody, I hope you have an absolutely wonderful uh, rest of the day and rest of your week and happy August, everybody. <laughs> See all you right. next time. <laughs>